Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Cane Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. This is just a quick cane video tip to give you guys an idea about grabbing your cane to lift it up when you don't have any spot that you can guide from, like grips, or you don't happen to have any kind of markings to help you find a good spot to grab it. When you have a cane that has no markings or no grips cut into it and you want to get a good solid grip a quick suggestion and i'm going to lower the camera for you is depending on the size of your cane the size of your hand you obviously don't want to lift up by the crook because your hand starts to curve and that doesn't give you a good solid hold you feel that start to move a little bit and if you hit a solid object it's going to turn on your hands you're not going to be able to recover in time for another strike. One of the things to do, depending on the size of your cane, like I said, is slide your hand down and pick it up. This is a thinner and lighter cane than I normally carry. It's about the same size, but a little bit thinner and lighter. So I'll shoot down about an inch from where the crook just starts the bend. So again, I don't want to lift here, tip on the floor type thing, because it's gonna not be a good solid grip. I simply shoot down and lift up. And then you can see right where the crook starts to bend. I'm just about a half inch. Let me bring this back up, show you from here. I went down, so when I lift it up, because of a lighter cane, I don't need to go down further because it's not as heavy as my other one. So when I shoot down, I'm anywhere from a half inch or less, I'm sorry, an inch to a half inch from where my crook starts to bend. That gives me good solid strength so when i'm swinging it i don't lose it when i hit something solid it's not going to flip out of my hands as easy because my hand is not bent in a, in this kind of fashion on the crook so take your time practice that simply shift down about a half an inch pick it up see how that feels if it doesn't feel if it feels too too heavy down here then you shift down about an inch pick it up and you can take a, a pencil and mark it get used to the grips because you can always erase off the pencil once you find out where your grips are and where your grips should be for you and what makes you feel comfortable for defending yourself then you can mark that and then if you want to put whatever you want on there or cut into it so that's how to find your grip on a cane with no grips hopefully that helps Gary Hernandez thank you and I will see you guys very soon